Okay, super quick video. I have a couple people having a hard time getting their takedown safety bar back in. Uh, there's a new way I'm doing it now. I'm going to redo the video, a longer, more detailed, more professional video here uh, in a little while. I ain't got time to do it right today. So really quick, I just want to show you how to do this so he can get his put back together. So I'm going to just take this all apart real quick. We're going to get our trigger bar spring out of here. And then we're going to remove our trigger bar real quick. Let our disconnector fall out of there. So before I had... You pull this pin out just a little bit, remember, till the low step was actually uh, even with the side of your frame, you know, when you can go like this and feel it. We don't care about that anymore. We're going to take this right out of there, okay? So my disconnector's out. There's two holes back here. We have the big hole up top, which is for my sear pivot pin, and then the bottom one here is for the safety lever pivot pin. We're going to just push that baby right out of there. We don't even care anymore. I'm going to use this T-pin right here. You can use whatever you want. We're just going to push that straight through to the other side. Right there, see? Oops. I'm going to pull that right out, and then your safety lever is going to fall out. This is what we're trying to avoid last time on the other video. We don't care anymore. Let it fall out, okay? Um, so, now we're going to rotate our takedown lever, and we're going to get our takedown safety bar right out of there. And this is the problem people are having. Some people getting this little hook here to hook on... in this little groove right here in our takedown lever, okay? Um, so then we're going to push our trigger pivot pin out of here, just like that. And we're going to take our trigger bar out, just like that, and get our trigger out, just like that, okay? So completely disassembled like in that other video, and now we're going to reassemble it. We're just going to do it a little bit a different way. So once you clean it all up and lube it all up and you put your trigger in, we're going to put our trigger in just like that. Put our trigger bar in behind it. Let that sit down by the side here. Doesn't have to be in all the way. Uh, we're gonna flip it over. Put our trigger bar, our trigger pivot pin in. Mine may fall out a couple times because it's super loose. It's pretty worn out this FCU. Oh, see, it almost fell out already. Uh, and then we're going to we're gonna put our takedown lever in. Remember, seven o'clock. Come on. 7 o'clock, rotate it, make sure that our gap is the same here as it is here, which it is. That means it's in plenty far enough. Now we're going to take our takedown safety bar. We're going to hook our little hook here into the bottom of our takedown lever, just like that. And then we're going to fish this other side in over here. You might have to do this a couple times. Sometimes it doesn't go right in. Line up my notch there. Come on. Put it right in my notch. Bring it right around. And if you're not, there's a couple of obstacles here. You got the pin here that you got to be above, and then you got to be under your um, slide catch. Plus, you got to be in the notch itself. So, like right now, I'm in front of the notch, so it's not allowing that to turn. And that might be the problem um, some people are having where they say they can't turn their takedown lever. Well, it's hitting up against the bar right now. I can't move it because it's not in there right. So let's try it like this. Just like that. Push it up. Just like that. So now, I mean, when you put it in, it's probably going to be all the way up anyway. So if it's stuck way down here and your bar's in, you probably do not have it in there right. So remember, you got to push up on your slide catch to rotate this to see if it works properly, which it does. See, it's moving my bar. So now I'm going to hold this with my finger, okay, because I'm going to have to put my pin back through here. This only goes in one way. You get that low step towards the bottom. I'm going to start putting this through the hole. Might be a tight fit. Might have to wiggle it around and twist it to go in. When we put it in, we don't want to go in too far. Our notch here for our safety lever, right here. We're gonna watch that pin come in, come in, come in until we see it a little bit and then pull it back out, okay? So you can see it right now. It's right here, silver pin. So you gotta pull it back out a little bit. So 
So I'm going to rotate this on my side, and I'm going to hold my I'm holding my bar with my finger so it doesn't fall out, okay? Because there's nothing holding it in yet. And then what we're going to do here is we got our two holes, the big one here up top, which we're not concerned with, and then this one here is the one the pin's coming through. The small ones, you can see actually the silver pin in there. So when I put my safety lever in here, I'm going to be looking through those holes. And you can see my pin, my T-pin. I'm just going to kind of slide it in. I'm going to see the hole in my safety lever. The hole here that the pin goes through. I'm going to see that, you know, come through the first hole window here. And then I'm going to kind of use my pin here to pull it down to the second window. And when I am get it centered and I'm messing with it, I'm going to be pushing up on that pin with my finger while rotating my T-pin around. And then the pin's going to pop right through it. Okay. So if you're watching the hole... Get my hole kind of lined up here. So like right now my safety lever is lined up with that hole. So now I'm going to use my finger to push in as I'm just going around in a circle here. And that's going to center the safety lever so the pin can go through it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that it's captured in case we miss the hole, which it's pivoting on there. Okay. And it's not falling out. And then that's all the way in now. See that's all the way in. My bar is all the way on. It works perfect and everything. Uh, versus the other way where we had to put in this part here at the end. It's already done. So now we're going to slide our disconnector back on. Just like that. Put our trigger bar up in there. Just like that. We're going to put our trigger bar spring in. Just like that. And then we're going to hook it onto the trigger bar. I use an uh, angled pick. It's a lot easier than the pliers for me. As I say that, and I can't get it on, right? There you go. So, hooked into my trigger bar. Function check. Everything works there. Everything works there. I don't want to pull it too far because it might pop out. Everything's pushed in, and there you go. So that's the easy, easier way to do it. Nobody's had really much of a problem doing it the other way, but this one's a lot easier getting this hooked back up at the end, our takedown safety bar. So I will remake this video and make it longer and better detailed and all that stuff. But I told somebody I would post a video real quick tonight. Um, so here it is. Hopefully he can get his put back together, no problem. Uh, thank you for watching.